When your wish is to have access to the water where you live, then there's only one type of property that can make that possible, a waterfront home. I am Krista Waterworth Alterman. I am actually the founder and the creative director of Krista Home. And we are a high-end interior design firm in Palm Beach County. And we honestly believe that service is a calling. So we really serve our clients. That's our number one priority. Not many can say you can park your car in the driveway and dock your boat in your front yard. And today we get to tour this amazing residence designed by Krista Waterworth on SoFlo Home Project. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. This beautiful townhome behind me has four levels, which is quite different from typical homes in South Florida. This unique property was designed by interior designer Krista Waterworth, who gave this home an edgy urban style. The family can literally step outside and go boating at any moment and enjoy the Miami Beach location and lifestyle to its fullest. I can't wait to show you the inside. This four-story, 4,200 square foot townhouse has four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. Each floor of this home was designed with a specific function in mind. This home is very unique in that it's four floors and for sure it's something that I have never designed before. So it was a challenge for me to figure out how do I create a beautiful home with each floor being unique yet cohesive. Krista, welcome to the Home Project. Oh, we need hugs. Hugger. We need hugs. <laughs> I am such a big fan of your work. Thank you. I know you have amazing TV experience so you can pretty much take over the entire show. <laughs> you don't need me here today. That's not true. It's but so it is an true. honor to be in your presence. I love this townhome. Thank you. So unique. Well, it's open crazy late, mm -hmm. just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Inspirational artwork. Yes, so this home really is about entertaining. Right. And that's why artwork like this kind of just speaks to you the moment you walk in. Literally, it speaks to you. Yes. <laughs> and there are a little, there's moments like that all over where you really get a sense of the personality of the homeowners. So we're in the living room. It really sets the tone for your entire beautiful design. We mixed a lot of different materials. We did leather, we did silk, we did velvet. You know, we did some tweed and all of it really comes together and makes a very kind of organic vibe, yeah. you know, almost like they could have designed it themselves. So it's not over designed. Correct. Now it does have a nice balance between hard and soft, masculine and feminine. The husband is definitely really into, you know, a more masculine sensibility. Yeah. Let me guess um, the leathers. The leather. Typical men. The love chrome. Them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, all the angularity to, you know, the built-ins and even the furniture itself. Um, but she is like fashion forward, you know. Because it does have a lot live. of that glam look as well, I guess with the metallics and the sheens, rich, richness in the fabrics as well. Absolutely, so yeah. we did some, some brass, you know, we did some chrome, yep. we mixed in some of the black metals as well, you know, the iron and that kind of stuff. And all of that together, I think, makes for like a richer kind of style. And we added this bar, because this is really about entertaining. Right. They love making cocktails and they love having friends over. We I love how you integrated the column into the, the banquette seating there too. Oh, thank you. the counter. You. Yes. Pretty cool. Thank you so much. And yeah. the fact that this is also, it doubles as a family room and your technically formal living room. So you, you balance that casual elegance you know, style. So you're going to show us now what's coming up? Let's go look at the dining room and the courtyard, which is a little bit of a surprise. Yes, it's quite different. Yeah. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Come on. On the first floor, we find the renovated kitchen, living room, as well as several spaces for entertaining. This level is dedicated to hosting all types of gatherings. Martin, <laughs> welcome to the dining room, our little surprise courtyard, and this beautiful kitchen behind us. Wow. Now what's so cool about the architecture here is it's almost like a railroad apartment in Manhattan. Right. So we have a long linear space, mm -hmm. which is a little challenging to design. And that was why we really wanted to make sure that this space had lots of wow factor and a ton of functionality. And it has all of the above. Thank you. <laughs> it is so cool. Yes. I mean, it really takes your standard, let's say, banquette to a whole other level. And then we have this nice large mirror, too, 
that really brings in the outdoors. Right. So for a small space, we obviously feel a little bit larger. That's an old designer trick, as you know. Yes. <laughs> and then a spectacular sort of um, a, a chandelier that you know everybody kind of walks in, and that's the statement of the space. So you have seating and style, but then is there also additional functionality with the? Is there storage underneath? There is. Okay, because I see some drawers. Yes. I love it, maximizing space, right? Absolutely. So that's for all the decorations for the holidays okay. or things that you don't really use you know, all year round. So great use of space. It's really. completely hidden. I went to design school in Manhattan, so I really learned early on how to use every kernel of space possible. Yeah. Because when you're designing small spaces in New York City, you really have to understand space in a different way. So listen, let's discuss the, this beautiful courtyard because it's quite different to have this almost like indoor-outdoor space. It's very unique to have a courtyard in a four-story townhouse looking all the way up to the stars. And we put in these beams so we could actually have the fan there to give it a little bit more of circulating air. Got it. So that wasn't here before? That was not here. Wow, no. I love that. We put in the tile and the floating wood floor and all of this to really create a cozy yet very sophisticated kind of chic space. And for entertaining, the flow is just is Amazing, perfect. right? Yeah. Krista, so it's fair to say that the first level is all about gathering, entertaining, hanging out with family and friends. Yes. But when your clients do want to have sort of their own little private you know, retreat, not only the adults, but also the kids, they do have their own level. They have right? their own floor. They have their own floor. <laughs> Everyone has their own floor in this place. <laughs> Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, we explore the second floor, which is designed exclusively for the kids and the family. We're going to help this family transition from their double French doors to brand new sliding glass doors to give them added hurricane protection and more energy efficiency on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. Interior designer and TV personality, Krista Waterworth Alterman joins us today, giving us an exclusive tour of a four level townhome that she designed in Miami Beach with an edgy urban style. Yes. Before the commercial break, we saw the first level. Now we're on the second floor. Mm -hmm. And I did take the stairs, by the way. Uh -huh. It was beautiful. <laughs> Love the staircase as well and all the artwork. Um, and this is really all about the kids, Krista. This really is the kids' floor. The second floor has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. The boys of this home share this level with rooms designed to reflect their own individual personalities. Is it, I would say, maybe a bit more fun designing a kid's room? Do you have to talk to them and try to get into their psyche to see exactly what they want? Well, Because sometimes uh, they don't know, right? They're like all true. over the place. It's true, mm -hmm. and you know, you don't want to design a room that isn't going to sort of grow with them. Right. So you'll notice that this room has a little bit more of an adult edge. Right. But I have an 11 year old boy, so I kind of know exactly what to do. <laughs> Personal experience. <laughs> yes, which helps. I love your use of a non traditional nightstand, too. It's cool. Well, kids have lots of stuff, yeah. and they collect stuff. So I always want to give kids an opportunity to display the things that they love. And, you know, instead of doing nightstands in a space that you don't have a lot of, you know, places to put, bookcases and all of that. I said, right. well, let's just put it together. Let's have a bookcase and a nightstand all in one. So it's multifunctional, double duty furniture. Absolutely. I'm all about that as well. I think a lot of homeowners, uh, for the most part, have, I think, a bit of a challenge when it comes to mixing patterns. Any tips to combine all these patterns and make it all work? Yes, so combining patterns is all about scale and color. So you'll notice that the wallpaper has a very small scale pattern, the flooring a yeah. little bit larger of a pattern, and of course stripes will go with just about any scale pattern. And then of course, when you're mixing patterns, it's important that there's one color that is a through way throughout all of them that kind of ties them all together. And in this case, it's the gray or taupe. So Lucas's bedroom, uh, Sam's brother, is on the opposite side of, the, of this floor. Yes. So Lucas is our dreamer. So what I did was I put cloud wallpaper all throughout his bedroom. It feels almost as if you're walking into a a mini master suite, but in this case for, for a young boy. Absolutely. So there needed to be spaces in there for him to do his homework. Places, cool desk. Very cool desk. Floating cantilever off the wall. Wow. Can't get better than that. Mm -hmm. And then at the foot of the bed, I, I love that cool seating you incorporated. Right. So that's kind of like lounge seating. Yeah. So kids, as they get older, want to hang out in their bedrooms, right? So we want to make it comfortable for them and their friends. 
Also, if you take the pillows off of that little lounger, mm -hmm. his friends can sleep over. Krista, so between the two bedrooms, there's an area, it's a shared space for both of the, of the boys. Yes, it is. It's their cool playroom because they have an entire floor to themselves. Wow. They have a nice common area right yeah. in the middle where they can meet and play together and play with their okay. friends. Don't say too much yet. Okay. We're going to see that space as soon as we come back because now we're going to see what Tac Renata from Florida Home Improvement Associates has for us today. When we had the opportunity to meet with this family, their biggest concern of their home was what to do with these French doors. They had a lot of issues with them. They started to expand and contract. They were getting a lot of air and moisture in from the perimeter. They were starting to bow and they just weren't any type of protection for the family for any storm. So they really wanted to change things. In discussing all the different options that were available to us, whether it be keeping it French doors or changing it to sliding glass doors, we ultimately decided to go with sliding glass doors for a few different reasons. Uh, they liked the opportunity for a screen to be included so that when they open the door, uh, they can get some fresh air in while still having the screen. They also wanted to have more patio space and didn't like the idea of the doors opening into their patio area. So they chose a great product from Custom Window Systems that's going to give them the hurricane protection they were looking for, the energy efficiency, while giving them more area to use on their patio and the screen to give them the fresh air that they were looking for without bugs or anything getting in. So I'm excited to see how everything turns out. They're going to love the change this is going to make to this opening. Well, the store really operates really well and everything turned out great. The homeowners are really happy with the decisions they made and it was a difficult one. A lot of times for folks that have French doors, it's a tough decision if they want to change to a sliding glass door and this family is really happy that they did. Not only did they get the hurricane protection they were looking for and the energy efficiency, but they really wanted to open up the space in the patio to give them more area to utilize uh, during the summer months. So that turned out great. They also have the opportunity now to have the screen so if they do want to leave the door open they can allow some fresh air to get in without the bugs. So this installation turned out fantastic. Back to you Martin. Thank you Tat and this is the space that we teased before we saw Tat's segment and I love it Krista. Thank you so much. I mean this is a space really for the kids to chillax with their friends, play video games. We have high performance fabric on everything in this area because we want to make sure that it's easy to clean, easy to take care of, very durable. Yeah. It's modular so you can create almost a bed-like feeling or you can move these out and use them as tables or places to sit while you're gaming. We give it a little wow factor with our really fun graffiti wallpaper. Which, by the way, it's also the same wallpaper down the hallway going into Lucas's room. Yes. Which is, it caught my eye as soon as I walked up the stairs, too. Absolutely. So, Krista, when you're walking down the hallway, your focal point is this back here, and really the entertainment center kind of disappears. It does. And I wanted to bring in some of those light, bright elements mm -hmm. to sort of blend in with the wall because it will make a space feel larger. Great use of space. And again, the entire second level is only for the kids. And the third level is for mom and dad. Got it. Coming up next, we go up one more level in this four-story townhome and visit a space that feels more like a retreat that's tailor-made for the adults. Our homes are considered to be our safe haven, but they are also susceptible to water, smoke, or fire damage due to a crisis that can happen at any moment. Do you know who to call when faced with that emergency? Many homeowners choose Ace Reservation Services for dependable crisis management solutions. Juan is the owner of Ace Restoration Services, and you've been in business in South Florida for over 10 years. Welcome to SoFlo Home Project. Thank you for having us. So I see an opening in the ceiling, and I know that's not typical. It's not the norm. Yes, So yes. many homeowners call you with this issue, which is water damage in the ceiling. 
Yes. This client had uh, water filtration that was coming from the ceiling okay. uh, every time it, it was raining, and she had called her insurance company and let them know, so the insurance company wasn't doing anything for her. So she called us because, you know, we are able to come and do a free moisture test, as we advertised, and we saw that there was water coming in from her ceiling linked to a hurricane damage. Got so it. So we were able to, you know, shrink crap her roof and at the same time remediate her water damage ceiling. A lot of times homeowners contact the insurance company and the insurance company comes and, and does an inspection. They're not looking for the damage like we are. We're here to represent you, work for you, and then we build the insurance company directly. Even if your claim is denied, mm -hmm. call us, we're able to reopen it uh, through you know the right documentation. And then like I said before, we have the right group of attorneys that help bring their home to pre-loss condition as we say. One, when I pulled up to the house, I saw the white roof and it wasn't snow <laughs> in South Florida, <laughs> right? Absolutely, that's a shrink wrap. Okay. So let's go outside so I can show it to you. Absolutely, let's go. On the inside, the area was much smaller, but on the outside, you had to really shrink wrap the entire roof. Yes, so this is the shrink wrap we were discussing inside. It's important uh, when you do a shrink wrap that it comes out very firm, uh -huh. and that way you, you shrink it to the exact size of the roof. Now, more important is that you document the damage before you cover it up. Juan, thank you again for being on SoFlo Home Project. If the viewers are watching right now and they want to contact your company, Ace Restoration Services, what do they need to do? Call 786-732-2779 or you can visit us at ace2restore.com. Thank you again for being on SoFlo Home Project. Thank you very Great much, Great information. <laughs> so welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Krista Waterworth Alterman. And I'm Martin Amato, and meet my new co-host. I love it. Woo! <laughs> We're having so much fun today, Krista. Thank you again for being on the show. Absolutely. So of course, before the commercial break, we saw the second level. It was all about the kids. So it's only appropriate that the adults have their own level floor, if you will, too, correct? Sanctuary. And this is it. Sanctuary, call. absolutely. The master suite takes up the entire third floor of this townhome. This is a private space that has it all, including two outdoor areas to enjoy the views. The third floor is my favorite floor, actually. That is what I call the mom and dad suite. So I always say that the bed is the most important focal point in a bedroom. Yes. And this one obviously does not disappoint. Is it custom? This is custom. This wow. is something that I designed and it has that beautiful little curvature which appeals to the feminine side. Mm -hmm. A lot of really cool sensual kind of fabrics in here. We have some python. We have of course some ombre velvets. Yeah. We've got some beautiful Belgian linen. Well, I like the master bedroom to have a lot of elements that are very tactile because it should be a space where it appeals to all the senses. Right. Not a lot of stuff, streamlined, which I feel like is more relaxing. And the fact that they do have a complete, you know, walk-in closet as well for both of them also gives you the luxury of not having to incorporate additional storage in their sleeping area. That's right, that's right. And then we kind of made some updates into the master bathroom as well, just to kind of bring it up to date, gave her a beautiful makeup vanity. And, mm -hmm. and then at the back, we have this really big, beautiful deck that I've outfitted with plants and, you know, comfortable seating and some really fun elements out there to make it a space where you want to just hang out and have a cocktail and share. Yeah, and this room really has one of the best views, of course, being that it's a waterfront property. The entire reason your clients bought this home to begin with, right through there. And actually, you can even see when their boat is there, have, you know, when their boat is docked there. <laughs> They can also keep an eye on it too. I love Absolutely. It. <laughs> I mean, what a view. Yeah. You wake up and you just can actually see the intercoastal waterway right outside your window. I mean, it's amazing. So we have the downstairs area for family and friends and entertaining. We have the second level for the kids, the third for the adults, and the fourth level would be. So it's kind of like a functional space for both guests and for doing some work. Okay. Next on SoFlo Home Project, we are going to the top floor to explore some very special multifunctional spaces. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. We have finally reached the fourth level Woo! of this townhome in Miami Beach designed by None other than Krista Waterworth Alterman from Krista Home. And we are now on the fourth level, and that edgy urban style still continues up here. The top floor of this four story townhouse is where we find the home office that also converts into a guest bedroom. This elegant space is the perfect place to get some work done and take in the great water views. 
obviously the views are pretty spectacular from right. the highest floor. Yeah, absolutely. So it works well for both, right? If a guest is coming, then they get to really see the city from up here. And if you're doing work, the city becomes almost an inspiration. This desk, Chris, it almost feels like a dining table in the sense of the scale. It is a dining table. It is? Oh my gosh, okay. You're amazing! Well, I mean, I just, I love the scale, especially for, for this room. It really balances out the, the space. Absolutely. I mean, this definitely is a pretty masculine space. Mm -hmm. We've got, you know, the charcoal and silver striping wallpaper, which is a lot of bang for your buck, I feel. This room is small, and doing a vertical stripe like this is a little, I don't know, sometimes it can make a room feel smaller. Right. But I feel because of the windows and the expanse of the view, it didn't matter. It feels very tailored. Yes! So it's a home office on this side. This is more like a lounge area to watch the television across the room. But then I'm assuming when you say guest bedroom, does this convert into a bed? This is a pull-out queen bed. Wow, and okay. This is actually one of my favorite pull-out sleeper sofas because it has a foam mattress and it's eco-foam, which means it's eco-friendly and made from recycled materials. And it's the most comfortable mattress on the planet, I think. Mm -hmm. It's more comfortable than my foam mattress at home. Right. I love this area. So let's talk about that special, almost function you gave what would be considered just a hallway. That's right. Leading out to the terrace. Well, that I call my little wine resting place. Uh -huh. I like it. <laughs> there's a wine fridge and there's a wet bar there. And also a coffee bar station if you want a as well. A coffee bar. Good morning. Mm -hmm. And right outside of those doors is actually an outdoor terrace with a ping pong table. Very cool. Yes. Yeah, so this is almost like, dare I say, like the party room, a little bit more of the I think you, gaming room, but for adults. Absolutely. Oh, and the entire family too, which is Yes. Say. But the kids can be hanging out on their level on the mm -hmm. second floor, and the adults can be up here having some cocktails, listening to some music, and playing some ping pong. Right. That's when they don't want to go on their boat, of course, part-time their own private talk. Right. Right in front of the house. <laughs> That being said, let's head outdoors and check out that view. All right, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> wow, Krista, an amazing view. And I know this is the entire reason your clients fell in love with this location to begin with. Oh, absolutely. This is paradise. Well, thank you again for being on the show with us. I know your clients are super happy that you made their dreams come true. And this home really represents that perfect balance between indoor and outdoor living done beautifully. Oh. Thanks to your work. Well, thank you, Martin. And it was such a pleasure to be with you today. I we really hope. loved every minute of it. I'm glad you did. We loved it as well. And I hope to have you back on the show soon. So I think I met the challenge of creating four floors that are all unique, but still tie together and flow beautifully. And I think that this is really a unique home. This is a place that you can come and say, wow, I've never seen that before. And that always makes me proud. <laughs> to all the viewers, we thank you for watching and we'll see you again next weekend right here on SoFlo Home Project every Saturday morning, only on Local 10. Have a great weekend, guys. If you missed any part of this makeover or you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You can also submit your own design disasters and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on Sofla Home Project, when the kids are no longer babies, it's time for beauty and fashion expert Julia Marrero to get a stylish bedroom that reflects her personal taste.